Hey, so this week on Lou Loves, I wanted to talk to you about reusing what's already in our wardrobe. Um, there's so many things out there that we can get tempted by and we want new trends, new looks, but ultimately we should reuse what we've already bought, not just for the environment, also our bank balance. And there's something really rewarding when you've had lots of wear out of something you've invested in. So I have brought down some of my key pieces from my wardrobe, things that I've had for nearly 15 years, some of these bits that I wanted to talk to you about and, you know, maybe inspire you to go and either use these that you already have or invest in things that you know you're gonna have for a really long time. So, number one. For me, the blazer is everything. No matter what I'm wearing, no matter where I'm going, a blazer will always come in handy. It will either create a sophisticated look, a modern look, or depending on the cut and the size. I always go for oversized because that's just the look I like, but a caramel blazer, a black blazer, or a simple cream blazer. Whether you have one or all three, no matter what you're wearing, it's one of the biggest investments I can ever say to you to put into your wardrobe. You can never go wrong. And you know what? It will never date. I think that I'm most probably known for wearing khaki jackets and I actually could only bring a few down because over the last 15 years, I've invested in a lot of khaki jackets. But the good thing is I'm still wearing ones that I bought 10 years ago, not just ones that I bought recently. And that's why a khaki jacket is such a great investment. I've got one with embellishment here. This was an expensive one. It's kind of a little bit of my prized possession, but I have worn this so many times and I feel great every time I wear it. So it was an investment that I am really happy about and I've enjoyed. Secondly, one with embellishments on the back or just a really simple, plain little summer one. But once again, you know, no matter what you're wearing, a khaki jacket creates a modern feel. I think khaki will always be something that huge designers turn to for their more pared down look, for something more casual, because it creates a casual feel, but it still gives an element of high fashion. And that's why I think that khaki jackets, time and time again, become such a big piece on the catwalk. When I go out of a night, I'm not somebody that gets really dressed up in, you know, really tight little dresses. I have to still feel like I've got an element of daytime cool for me. So I often wear a black skirt and I wear three different styles. I either wear a pencil skirt, which I like to wear with a long boot underneath. So it almost gives you the illusion of a leather sort of legging underneath. I wear a short little leather skirt, normally not too short, and I team that up with a little shoe boot. Or a really cute little black mini that looks great with tights. Again, one of the blazers you've already invested in. Um, and I would team all of these items with a knit, just a simple black basic knit. And for me, you've got three different skirt lengths and three different styles that you can pretty much wear all year round, whether you wear with tights, whether you wear with boots, whether you wear with sandals. But if you have a pencil skirt, a leather skirt, or a basic black mini, you'll never go wrong. I'm gonna look really boring now because I've got two shirts one in black, one in white, they're exactly the same. But this is my theory on shirts. Shirts also never date. I think if you buy a really classic shirt, I bought down two slightly silkier ones from my wardrobe. I equally love wearing a man's shirt tucked in jeans. Um, you can get shirts from anywhere that work really well from Marks and Spencers to high-end designers. Always check out the men's section when it comes to buying shirts, but you can never go wrong with a really simple monochrome black or white shirt. Again, I've had both of these for a number of years and I've definitely had my price per wear. I don't think this would be a really good edit unless I talked about denim. Um, denim is something that I wear so much. I think it's most probably the biggest thing that I wear in my wardrobe the most constantly. Um, whether it be an oversized denim shirt, jacket, known as a shacket. This one's from Topshop. Um, I haven't had this long, but since I've had it, I've worn it on numerous occasions. I would actually wear it with the denim trousers, the black jeans I've got on now. Um, I wear it with maybe one of the skirts. I'd wear it with tracksuit bottoms. I'd wear it with so many things. Um, and it's just easy. Secondly, 
your denim jeans, a pair of jeans that work for you no matter what. And I think the hardest thing with denim is you can't just pick a pair and they're going to be perfect. I think you have to give it time. You need to try at least 15 pairs on before you realise what ones suit you. And I also have this thing that I tell all my girlfriends who go and spend a really lot of money on a nice top for a night out that they're most probably not going to wear again or anytime soon. But why not invest that money in jeans that you absolutely love? Because you're going to have them for years, you're going to wear them constantly, and there's nothing better than feeling great in your clothes every day. So, yeah, denim is a key part of my wardrobe. Okay, so back to real basics. A good tee is so important. Um, black, white, I sometimes push the boat out and wear a khaki, but they are things that will carry you through from summer to winter to layering. Um, I personally like a round neck. Um, I like quite an oversized tee with a little rolled up arm, but always a good tee is a real important part of your wardrobe because they can be the part that brings everything together. They can bring the trousers, the jacket, the shoes, everything else in your wardrobe. A simple tee can be the hub of it. I think lockdown has put the fashion back into tracksuits and sweatshirts. I think a few years ago, we thought of tracksuits as something to wear just for comfort. Now, all the major brands out there are doing you know, really great tracksuit wear, whether it be a hoodie, a sweatshirt, simple tracksuit bottoms, everybody from Topshop to Givenchy are doing some form of a sweatshirt look. Um, this one is from Mark Lifter, which I love. And I have to say, I think it's a really integral part of your wardrobe. Again, it creates such a modern feel and you can get double elements of wear. You can wear it as a casual piece, just out Sunday morning, or you can stick it on, like I would, with a pair of jeans and a heel and feel quite confident going out on a Saturday night. Footwear is another one of those items in your wardrobe. No matter how many pairs of shoes or trainers you buy, you tend to go back to the same ones. For me, a cute little boot or a trainer or a simple black heel like I'm wearing today um, is kind of the only, only way forward. I think you can always invest in different gorgeous fashionable shoes, but to have the basics are really important. So for me, a little shoe boot like this, I, I'd wear in the summer, I'd wear with each of the skirts, I'd wear with jeans, I'd wear day to night. Um, they carry me right through and they're comfortable. A cute blazer, trainers, you know, anything that's kind of got a sport element to it has never been more fashionable. So as a woman with kids, I'm loving that I can go out in a pair of trainers and do everything and still be super cool. <laughs> My last go-to item has got to be a trench coat. Um, it's a, a coat that I think just really does last the test of time. It looks great over a really smart dress going out somewhere really elegant for an evening. It looks great with jeans, tracksuit, trainers, and it looks looks great just with a heel, t-shirt. It kind of goes with everything. I think the high street are doing some great trenches at the moment, which I will share with you all. But for me, this is an item of clothing that, I don't know, I kind of always feel cool in a, in a trench, no? So I really hope this was useful to you in one way or another, and I hope I've either inspired you to go into your wardrobe and pull out some things and have the confidence to keep on wearing them, not feeling like you always need new. And if there are investment pieces that you're looking for, I'll link up the best items I know that are out there at the moment that would be on my wish list. <laughs>